Welcome to a figure review for, let me just get it, the Knuckles and Eggporn figure set um, from Sonic. Uh, right, bit of, well, not much background, but this was eight ninety nine, dollars um, $7.99 from Toys R Us, the £7.99, I'd imagine that's probably like $12.50 or something, I'm not really sure. The exchange rate is actually pretty bad um, on the side of the dollar at the moment. Um, as you can see, they're, you know, like four inches tall each, roughly. Um, and as you can see from Knuckles, he has like posable joints and a stomach and stuff. Um, egg pond, less so, I believe. There was also two other sets, um, there was Sonic and another of the, you know, like, bad guys, and then there was Tails, and I believe Tails was, I can't remember, but the one that looks like a ladybird. Um, so yeah, basically, I thought I'd review this, because it looks pretty cool, and um, I am going to open it, I mean, I'm I'm quite the collector, but I'm, you know, I'm I'm still going to... Uh, open this for now um, right well on the back there's not much really it explains the Sonics really fast um, he's known for speed and confidence and you know he goes on a lot of adventures and stuff like that and this is to celebrate the most iconic video game character of all time I, I'm not sure I totally agree with that but wherever also um, the different sets have different dates. This one has 2003, which I'm assuming is Sonic Heroes. Um, because the egg pawn looks a lot like they do in Sonic Heroes and Knuckles in it. I noticed that I believe his Tails was 1992, which may have been Sonic 2 or Sonic 1. I don't know, I'm mixing up dates possibly. But but yeah, they're, they're all from different games, but they don't actually specifically tell you. They just sort of give the year... Uh, uh, knuckles and egg pawn. What does that say? Safety tested. Good. Well, I know I'm not going to choke on any of the small parts. Um, or maybe I will. I mean, that'll make the review even more interesting. Right. Well, I'm going to go like ahead and open it and stuff and uh, come back because I don't really want to film me opening all of the packaging. Right. Back in a second. Okay. Well. First of all, I'm just going to note the back card here is a like loop ring thingy, which I'm fairly sure is from Heroes, uh, Sonic Heroes, because you know the fact it's 3D and stuff. Um, anyway, right, okay. Well, uh, first off, I'm going to start with Knuckles. Um, Knuckles is pretty cool, but his joints aren't exactly a blessing. He can put his knuckles up like that, and I think you can. So, you can you can sort of pause him and stuff. Um, I'm not sure how well he stands because his bottom kind of, well, the bottom half of him swivels round, and his kneecaps are weird because his feet can spin and his legs can bend one way. Also, his knees don't bend, which can be annoying. Um, I'm going to attempt to put him on my windowsill. Uh, on my Star Wars calendar, Lego Star Wars calendar. Yeah, he stands. Okay, he stands fine. That's. Hmm. I'll try and possibly pause him better in a second, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's that's a good that's a good knuckles mold there. I mean, face is really detailed. Uh, as are all parts of him really. Um, you know. He, he's actually really cool, actually. Um, he's a lot better than I originally thought, because I reviewed him first, because I thought he was a generally, like, weak, you know, figure, basically, that maybe that he was so... maybe due to, like, his huge knuckles and feet that he couldn't stand, but he appears to stand in most poses, actually. Um, after this review, I'll possibly like take photos of pauses I've managed to put him in or stuff if I can do that. Um, okay, now on to egg pawn. Now, egg pawn mildly disappointed me because say you go to move his hand, it goes back up. Yes, he's completely rubber. Um, I mean, it's odd that he's rubber. I don't know why. It's like 
See? His fingers rubber. You can move his arms, but... Then they just go back. Um, I thought they were like... Sometimes you can get... Well, I don't know what the technical term is, but... It's sort of like memory rubber where you just like bend them and it'll stay like that. But um doesn't seem to be the case for egg pawn. I'm assuming egg pawn can stand well. I'm really hoping he can. Yeah, okay, cool. Um that was my main concern with this set actually, in that I bought it thinking, oh wow, they look cool. But after actually taking it to the checkout, I then realised after paying um, that whilst they look cool, their feet maybe aren't totally flat. Ah, maybe you can put that in something? You probably can't. Uh, that's lots of numbers. Yay. My favourite thing. Numbers. He has, uh, wow, well, he has quite a lot of detailing under his feet as well. That's impressive. Now, one thing I will say is these are definitely worth the money. Um, I mean, obviously, it's videos so you can't feel how good quality these are, but they really are something. Um, Knuckles feels rather heavy, to be honest. I was surprised. Um, you know, he's he's pretty pausable. I mean, he's not massively pausable, but then I guess you wouldn't want him too much, because then it would kind of ruin the whole fact that you can see him in profile. Um, ah, God, what have I done to his leg? Okay, well, Knuckles is clearly capable of doing the impossible. Um, his legs do swivel around a bit too easily, but then, you know, that's fine. I mean, that just means you have more possibilities for pausing, I think. Uh, oh, right, okay. I thought his tail was separate then. No. Um, but yeah, Knuckles is cool. He feels kind of, he's not smooth. He's slightly rough and stuff, um, which kind of suits Knuckles, I suppose. Um, and the egg pawn feels slightly rubbery and stuff, which again is fine, it doesn't feel out of place. Um, but yeah, the detailing is really, really good. I mean, you know, Sega didn't just sort of produce some crappy figures and just go, yeah, whatever, have these. Um, I have noticed quite a few other Sonic sets that were really interesting. There was... I saw a singular Metal Sonic, which I'm probably going to get at some point. And then there was, it may have been a Toys R Us exclusive, but don't take my word for it. Um, there was a set of Super Sonic, Super Silver and Super Shadow, I believe. Um, they looked pretty cool as well. So yeah, um, yeah that's pretty much it, really. Um, Oh, also, I suppose I shall review something else I bought in uh, Toy Trust today because I'm not going to make a Who video on it. It's an Adipose plushie from Doctor Who. Um, if you know where an Adipose is, then you're probably going, Ah, oh, it's adorable. And if you don't know where an Adipose is, then you're probably going, Ah, oh, it's a white blob and eyes and shit. Um, I mean, I'm mildly annoyed because the, the mouth has kind of like a white stitching into it that you can't get rid of um but yeah this is cool this was 7.99 as well um i think it's worth it because it's really bulky it's quite big as you can see compared to these figures not that plushies are usually as small as figures anyway um and you know i i i think it's a worthy plushie to add to the collection because well you know the adipoles are fucking adorable um, and, you know, the sort of, it's a reference to one episode of Doctor Who, uh, making it not really as sort of common as, say, a Dalek plushie or a Cyberman or TARDIS or something. Um, but yeah, okay, well, um, this video will either end abruptly now, or if I can manage to make some hilarious pauses with Knuckles and Egg Porn, then it'll end with those, so, uh... Until my next review, which may be in several months, depending on how much time I have, uh, and how many things I have to review, then, uh, yeah, goodbye. What goes up must come down, hear my feet don't touch the ground, see the world spinning upside down. Without a sound, I can feel it.
every rage Step aside, I'll turn the page 